update on the road for the uh, traveling uh, situation going on here in Pennsylvania. It is a Wednesday and it is definitely rush hour traffic time and uh, usually on these type of rural parts of the highway, they're fairly thick in traffic still even though you're not in high tide. Uh, the city traffic, but considering there's definitely more truck uh, trucks going in and out uh, in either direction, but the cars are still, there's still people out, I'm sure there's still people working, but it's not as much as it, as it was and, uh, on a normal Wednesday, but I came on because at some point in time, a driver needs to go to the bathroom. I'm just saying it is a natural thing. And also, there's times where your clock runs out and you've got to pull over and do a 10-hour break or a 30-minute break. And you can see the environment that I'm in is very rural. Therefore, there's not a lot of options out here. So with the coronavirus pandemic, fear factor spread, I understand the distancing. I understand the uh, the, the ramifications that need to be met to to lower the spread. I get it. But man, I am driving these roads, trying to get the goods out, like all the others truckers out here, and they have shut down the bathrooms, the rest areas. The bathrooms. Now, let me say something. What do you want us to do? Put it in a bottle? There's been people in the past that it used to be real bad when I first started driving. People be using bathrooms, throwing the bottles out in the roads, throwing them, throwing bags of business out on the sides of the highway. Uh, but you're going to shut down the, the, the restrooms and whatnot. I, I get it to a point. But Y'all ain't even letting us come in to park in PA. Pennsylvania has shut down the rest areas completely. I don't know about the toll roads, um, but it's completely shut down to park for a 30 minute break. These are laws made by the federal government that I have to follow. And if I don't get a 30 minute break, I go into violation. Or if I don't get a 10 hour break, I go into violation. So I want to know, you know, if anybody has answers, why in the world would y'all not let us at least park in the rest areas? The rest areas across Pennsylvania are closed. You know, can't wash your hands, can't wash your face, can't use your body. You know, nobody's in there but the cleaning people. And if they want clean places, the truck stops are open. They've got their people cleaning up more than I've ever seen. I, I'm kind of enjoying seeing the stores cleaner than they usually are. Um, they're taking extra measures, which is a real good thing. But don't, don't, you want to close down the vending machines, fine. You want to close down things people are going to touch, fine. But you need to let people go to the bathroom that's on the road. And you definitely need to let us park for rest and sleep and breaks. There is nothing harming y'all opening these rest areas to let us park our trucks or let the weary traveler on their way home park their car and take a nap in their car or whatever. I think that is absolutely mindless, ridiculous, and unfair. You should at least allow. There's other states that have closed the rest areas, but they're allowing the people to park. Now, we're in our own vehicle. There is no reason, none, to let us you know, worry about where we're gonna park and what we're gonna do. And then, to top that off, like, I guess I'm venting. Yes, I'm venting. When we get to the shippers, the shippers don't let you park there either. They've got all these little strict rules that you can't park overnight. You can't stay past 30 minutes. Get in and get out. Well, if everybody's kicking us out, where are we going to go? I just want to know. Where are we going to go? Somebody got an answer for me? Let me know. This is Steph. Trucking with Steph signing out. Till next time. God bless you. I'll just really just want to know why.
road and they're jumping out in front of traffic. I'll tell you what, it doesn't make life easy out here. I'm just saying. I'm not mad, I just, I don't get it. Please let people park where it's safe. They, talk, they holler safety, safety, safety. And then they put us in an unsafe situation. All right, signing off.